The Cedar River watershed is up on the western slopes of the Cascade Mountain Range and um, is uh, one of the two watersheds that provides water to the city of Seattle. We're studying snow in different types of forests um, and about 80% of the Cedar River watershed is covered by second growth forest which was logged sometime um, in the early 1900s and uh, when it grows back it comes back as a fairly dense homogeneous forest with a lot of the same uh, tree types. Then we also have some clearing sites with larger areas that are open that we can then compare um, snow in a very dense forest to snow in a, a much more open area and then some of the gradations in between. We have been deploying um, instruments in these different plots to measure uh, snowpack, the timing of snowpack disappearance because um, when that snow disappears um, tells us something about what stream flows will be like after that. We deploy sensors in the ground um, to measure snow presence, um, which we can do by measuring ground temperature. And then uh, we also have been using uh, cameras, uh, which are basically hunting cameras that you can install on a tree and set up to take one or two or three photos a day. At each location, we've used a, a GPS to get precise latitude and longitude coordinates of where that location is so that then um, we can map it and we can also look at it in comparison to other data sets that we have. In addition to measuring ground temperature, we can also measure air temperature. And so we actually will um, hang these little eye buttons in trees at different heights to measure, again, every hour it'll take a temperature reading within, um, within that one experimental plot. Measuring snow is hard just because the uh, the environment is harsh. You know, the access is limited to physically get up there um, and instruments break quite a lot because of the conditions. It's cold, it's wet. We have had trees fall on our weather stations. We've had instruments disappear because of um, little critters digging them up and taking them somewhere. <laughs> um, and so we Part of the reason for using several strategies at once is because um, that's often what it takes for us to get good data in this environment.